Hey everybody, so for the past nine months or so, my main source of water has been from this Brita filter, and I figured I'd give it a little review and do a comparison to a pure water filter. And so I want to make this, you know, pretty accurate and scientific and stuff. So I got a brand new Brita filter. And I'm going to compare the two. And I, I'm trying to make it, you know, accurate, like I said. So I have identical pitchers over there with identical water from the same tap source. You know, identical cups. I'm trying to make everything just as fair and accurate as possible. Um, I read through the instructions, or skimmed through the instructions, and... I set up the filters the way they say to. You have to soak this filter for 15 minutes, and then you know you have to rinse, rinse, rinse it out and stuff. And now I'm ready to do the comparison and the review. And here we go. All right, let's just start off by talking about the design of them to begin with. They're both very similar. Um, obviously, the colors are different. I think the pure one has a slightly better color scheme. This one gives you choices of colors. Uh, but just between these two, I think the colors on this one are better. This one is like wider. This one is like a little bit fatter. You know, if you see, it's uh, fatter this way. This is supposed to hold 11 cups. This is supposed to hold 10 cups. Um, you know, overall, they're just very similar. They both have these indicator lights. They're supposed to tell you when to, uh, you know, when to change the filter. And this one, I think, is better. The Brita one, I think, is better because it's based on how many times you open and close the lid. It's, it says how much you open the lid and leave it open for five seconds and then close it. It counts that so it knows when to tell you to um, change the filter. This has one of those. I'm not really sure how this one works, though. I think it's just based on time. Like, I think it's uh, supposed to last about two months. And so then it, it tells you when to change the thing. They both have very similar lids. I'd say it's like equal. Um, the Brita one, here's what the filter looks like. The filter on the Brita one just kind of pops out. And then just, I guess gravity is holding it in place. Um, I think the pure filter design is a little better. This one you have to twist into place. And and pull it up. I think the pure one is like a better design because it's harder to get up. But, so I guess it's harder to replace, but I think it's better because it like locks in more securely. So you don't want extra water going around the sides. You want it to be really secure. It even has these you know, rings to hold it in place. Um, so I think the filter design is better on this one. Because it like you know locks it in place, and so I'm gonna do a you know speed test. I think it's kind of important having it fill up quickly. So here we go. This is just regular tap water. This is from Pittsburgh, PA. If I smell this water, it kind of smells like chlorine. But here we go. I'm gonna try to do them both right away, so it's fair. This one has a couple second head start. Oh, oh, just uh, overflowed a little bit there. Oops. <laughs> but you guys can, you know, get an idea how quickly they're filling up. I did this one first, but it seems to be filling up quicker. It's actually kind of close. So my first thought was that the quicker it fills up, the better, because I'm kind of lazy and impatient, and I just want to drink the water right away. Then I was kind of reading through the instructions, and the, the pure instructions were basically saying, you know, it's okay if it takes a long time to fill up, because that means the filter is like, you know, collecting more stuff, and the slower, you know, if, if it all just poured down right away, that would mean the filter is not really doing anything. So my first thought was that the filter should be quick, then the more I thought about it, I guess it's okay that it takes a long time, because it means it's doing its job better. I actually like that this one is transparent, and you can actually see the water level. 
through the side of it. I think this would actually be better if it was transparent. All right, it's actually pretty close, but I'm gonna say that the winner in the speed test is the Brita one. It's only like maybe an inch difference, but it is, you know, faster at filling up. So congratulations, Brita. And I'm trying to make this very accurate and scientific, so I even have the, the cups labeled so I don't mix them up. And one of the comparisons I'm gonna be doing is just standard tap water. And I'm also gonna be doing my old Brita, which I've been using the filter for about nine months without changing it, which is longer than you're supposed to use it for, but I'm also going to compare this old Brita, just as a side comparison. All right, now for the comparison. So I could spend all day reading claims that they make. They both say they, you know, they're the best. They both say... They remove the most lead, they remove the most dirt and particles, and they both have tons and tons of claims. Like, look at this. I could spend an hour reading through all this stuff and comparing the data, but that's kind of stupid. You can just go to their website and read what they claim to do. Look, they have all this stuff. And um, so the main thing I'm going to do is just do a taste test comparison and see which one tastes the best. Here's the... Uh, pure no, no smell tastes pretty good um, there's no dirt in any of them they both look pretty clean I saw some people on, on uh, YouTube doing videos where they would put in a new filter and then pour it and there would be like little pieces of dirt in the in the water it's because the instructions tell you to like filter it in uh you know run it through water for about 15 minutes and um you know rinse it out before you actually use it and so i actually follow the directions that's why there's no dirt in my water let's try the brita one it's very close but i think this one has like a slight like chlorine taste you know you go to a pool you can smell the chlorine in the air there's a slight taste of chlorine in this one i'm gonna try the uh just the tap yeah like the the tap water has like a strong chlorine taste to it and the pure one has like a much slighter taste of chlorine to it um pittsburgh does not have very good water if you just Google Pittsburgh water, you probably find a bunch of news stories about how we've lead in our pipes and we've old pipes and stuff. Um, so I think they add just a lot of chlorine and, um, you know, stuff to the water to make it safe to drink. Um, so yeah, as far as the taste goes, I prefer the Brita one, but maybe it's just because I've been drinking it for the past nine months and I'm just used to it. Maybe I'm biased because of that. Let's try the old Brita filter. The new one tastes colder. Colder for some reason. The old one tastes like kind of warmer, which is kind of weird. You know, they all taste fine, honestly. Like it's, I only notice a difference because I'm thinking really strongly about it and trying to, trying to notice a difference. Um, I mean, they all get thumbs up, honestly. Um, I was just on a cruise ship, and I drank tap water most of the ship, most of the trip because they don't allow us to bring bottles on board, and that had an even stronger chemical taste to it. Than, uh, than the Pittsburgh tap water. Yeah. Um, but if I, if I, you know, handed someone a cup of this water, 99% of people wouldn't have any problem with it. They wouldn't 
notice a difference unless they were specifically looking for like a taste in the water um yeah i guess it's just my personal opinion i prefer the brita and an interesting thing in the directions or whatever the user manual is the brita one says the filter lasts the filter lasts two times longer than other filters but they both claim that they last two months so it's, I just think it's funny that they say they last two times longer than they both say they, they last the same amount of time. Um, the Pure one was $30 from Target. The Brita one was $35 from Target. So I guess for that extra, you know, $5, you get a slightly, slightly, slightly better taste. And I saw people on YouTube doing tests where they put like an instrument in the water to test the uh, the particle level. And this one guy tested his tap water and then tested the pure filter. And there were actually more particles in the water after it was filtered. And that seemed bad. But then I kind of researched it a little more and I found out that the pure one uses charcoal filtration like there's like pieces of charcoal in there that um you know sometimes they go into the water but it's completely safe to drink um so you don't need to worry about that and it's pretty much it a complaint i have about both of these is i think they're both too small um there are bigger pitchers but they have the the faucet at the bottom it's kind of annoying. It would, you know, just be awkward holding up the thing and using the pitcher. Um, but I think if it was even bigger, people would complain that's too heavy. But I don't know. I don't think that would be a problem for me. But um, that's pretty much it. We got episode 6000 coming up next. Should be pretty good, I hope. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Um, so congratulations, Brita. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.